And then we see you just a few hours ago uh, as the bell above the door to the Kryptonomica chimes. As Ned and Duck walk into the museum while you go and take back what's yours. Well, where is it? Uh, in the chicanery. I keep only the most secret things back there, so mm, yeah, nosy Kirby doesn't get it. Come on. I follow him to the back. And we go back and come finally to a door, a quadruple locked door. Ned puts his click reader glasses on and goes through a set of keys and unlocks it and leads Duck back into the chicanery. But uh, all these locked display cases, one of them has an Oscar in it. <laughs> and uh, stole when a you look, fucking Oscar. When, when you look at no, it, no, no, we got to dial in on this. Who did you steal an Oscar from, and what's the Oscar? It's uh, Clooney's Oscar for Sicario. <laughs> That's he won mean. an Oscar for Sicario. No, he went through so much to make that movie. Why I would know, you steal his fucking Oscar for no, no, it? No, 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 no. Well, there's a story behind it, but just to say that he thought it'd be kind of cool to steal something from Danny Ocean. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, okay. Uh, Siriana. Did you mean Siriana? By the yeah, way, yeah. What I say. I want to keep you from getting a bunch of tweets. Siriana. You said Sicario. That's a different flick. Sicario. Oh, different, different movie. Yeah. Siriana. No tweets, please. Yeah. I think you walk by uh, all, all these cases. Um, there's a there's a, a box that you actually got out earlier in the day in which you keep some of your uh, some of your most prized possession. It's where you keep your your magnum and uh, the uh, the ammo for it. And uh, and beneath it all, I think we the audience just like catch a glint of it for like a second as the two of you walk by. There's a pendant on a silver chain set with a large bright red stone. Um, and you walk past that as you arrive at the case with the weapon of destiny in it. So it's the only item in the uh, it's the only item in the case, and it it's dark. And I flip the switch on, and it illuminates the weapon. Uh, I really, I'm having kind of second thoughts about at this point. Oh god, man! Once, once I open that case, I mean, this is real. This is happening, and it's it's so annoying. Uh, an annoying? What do you mean annoying? The sword, man. It's so annoying. Does it talk in a funny voice? I mean... Just open the fucking case before I change my mind. All right. <clears throat> Back on with the clicks. Key. Open it up. There it is. I, I want this moment of the case open and, Doc, you are standing in front of it. And on this cushion, you see the weapon and are just kind of confronted with your past with all of the moments that your destiny has called out to you and you have turned away from it. And for the first time you're actually considering doing the opposite. I reach in really slow <laughs> and I take the handle. That's what it's called. Hilt. There's another word for hilt. Yeah. There's a crossbar. That's what I meant to say. A cross card. So I grab the hilt and when I do, it starts to unfurl and I hold it up and it unfurls into a blade and Ned and I hear, well, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> hey, hey, Beacon. Oh, Christ. Well, Doc Newton. I never thought this day would come. Have you had a fun 20 years, duck? I could sum up my... I know, man. I know that you've been... I could sum up my time, if you like. Let me summarize. A man comes into the room. He lays some trash on the ground. He leaves. That happened a thousand times, <laughs> Duck. Yeah, I know. I know it's been. Who's your friend, Duck? 
can Ned hear this voice? Yep. Because there's a mouth. <laughs>